Hi friends, it's Sintang Mayumi. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I have three cards, one kit collaboration with my friend Cheryl Sabado today. The card kit that we chose for this month collaboration is my monthly Hero Arts January 2020 card kit. So here I'm showing you what are the things that are included in the card kit. The card kit has 4x6 clear stamp set, 14 coordinating fancy dice, 8 sheets of 5.5x8.5 cardstock, pink sparkle embossing powder, aqua glimmer metallic ink, and 2 yards of pink satin ribbon. So here I'm showing you this aqua glimmer metallic ink. This one has eyedropper. So I like it that it has the eyedropper because when you add the color to a palette or on your surface, you can control how much ink uh, you're going to use. Before I begin my cards, I die cut all the flowers, leaves, and butterflies first so I don't have to do the die cutting while creating my cards. I die cut the images with watercolor paper because I'm planning to color them with watercolor paint. I added a strips of dry adhesive on my surface. That way when I color my flowers, it's not going to move and I can just remove them with my uh, Cricut uh, spatula and set them aside to dry. And then I can do the same process with the other flowers. To color the flowers, I just use my Daniel Smith watercolor paints and just choose uh, the pretty colors from my palette. For the leaves, I use uh, sap green on all of them and then I also use undersea green to add darker color on the leaves. For the butterflies, I use my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers and then I just blend the colors with uh, water and um, I also use black on the body and then colorful uh, colors on the wings. So here are my images ready to add to my cards. I die cut and colored for each of the flowers, leaves, and butterflies, and I think I have enough to use on my cards. For my first card, I die cut more of the images with white cardstock. I arrange them on my A2 size top folding white card base and I'm going to adhere them using liquid glue and this will be my background. Adhering these die cuts, um, this would be so easy if I have the press and seal. So I actually did run to my kitchen after I arranged the images on my panel and I looked in my cupboards and I don't have one so so I'm just gonna glue them one by one on my card after I adhered all the die cuts on my panel I'm going to um, cut the excess that are hanging off the card and I don't know why I use my uh, paper cutter here I can just use my scissor because it's easy so I'm just remo removing all the uh, excess uh, die cut and then I'll move on to the next step I'm going to add shimmer on my background by spraying it with the shimmer spritz sparkle I have this set of shimmer spritz that I got from Joanne 
and I'm enjoying using these ones on my cards lately. After I'm done with my background, I set it aside to dry. I die cut my paper to use for my bouquet of flowers. Um, and this paper is from Hero Arts and it's uh, called the Decorative Handmade Paper. I'm going to adhere the, uh, the side of this uh, die cut uh, paper holder for my flowers. And then I'm going to start arranging my flowers in the in that die cut. I placed the flowers and leaves where I think they look good and made sure my bouquets of flowers are full. So I added a lot of flowers and leaves inside the the holder or I don't know how you call them. Flower paper holder. And then I added some shimmer on all of my flowers using my Spectrum Nor Sparkle Pen. For the sentiment, I used the Happy Birthday sentiment from the stamp set and I'm going to ink that up with uh, VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I will emboss it with clear embossing powder and then dry it or um, heat it with my heat tool. I cut both ends of my um, sentiment and I'm just using my Fiskars trimmer here to cut the ends. Let's go ahead and adhere our bouquet of flowers on our card base and I'm just going to place uh, that in the middle. I will pop up the sentiment on the card using foam tape and then I'm going to place it under the flowers on the flower holder. For the inside of the card, I'm going to use this text image stamp from the stamp set. I will ink it with one of the Altenu pink set of inks that I have and stamp it on the left bottom corner inside the card. Adhere one of the flowers that I colored uh, earlier and adhere it in the middle. And lastly for this card, I'm going to add some shimmer on this flower and I think my first card is finished. For my second card, I'm going to use this Hero Arts background stamp that my friend sent me recently. This background stamp is called Irregular Grid Bold Cling Stamp. I apply Versamark ink on the clean stamp and then I place my paper on top of it and then I'm going to emboss it with the pink sparkle embossing powder that's included uh, in the card kit so I'm just uh, pouring some of the embossing powder and then I'm just gonna funnel those embossing powder back to the container into the container and then I'm going to um, melt all that powder with my heat tool. After the embossing is done, I'm going to die cut this panel with the dashing rectangles from Elizabeth Craft Designs. And then I'm going to splatter some of the aqua glimmer metallic ink on the panel. I add the ink on a clear black and using my flat brush, I will flick the ink on the panel. I'm also using an empty box so the ink splatters will continue or contain inside the box. And then I can also dry the panel while it's still in the box. For the sentiment, I'm going to stamp the thank you sentiment from the stamp set and I'm going to ink that up with VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp it on this colored banner that I die cut and colored and then uh, let's go ahead and uh, adhere our panel on 
our A2 size top folding car base and as you can see the uh, splatters are not dry yet so um, yeah I'm not gonna bother because <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing it again so that's okay and the butterfly is gonna hide that uh, mistake so it's okay as you can see the card base has a uh, wood grain pattern on it I have this uh, one that I uh, was going to use on one of my videos or cards and I didn't use so I just use it on this card right here so I'm just adhering all the three butterflies with glossy accent and I'm going to adhere the sentiment and pop it up pop it up uh, on the tail and then adhere it with glossy accent and tuck it in uh, under the uh, purple butterfly for the inside of the card I will do the same thing just like the first card I will stamp this text image with Altenu ink and stamp it on the bottom left corner and then add the purple flower and butterfly and then I add shimmer on the butterflies using my Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen and I also add uh, shimmer on the sentiment and uh, the flower and butterfly inside the card. Let's move on to our next or third card and I'm going to do this swiping with uh, this ink cubes and I'm using all the four all of the four colors from the Altenu set and this one uh, this set of Altenu inks is called cherry blossom so I'm just scribbling and uh, sw or swiping the ink all over the uh, panel and I'm going to do this until I achieve the look that I want. After I'm done uh, with the swiping of inks on the panel, I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. And then again, I'm going to die cut this panel using Elizabeth Craft Designs Dashing Rectangle. And then I die cut this envelope um, with the authentic paper that I have. And then I'm going to score the uh, envelope with my bone folder. And then adhere the bottom flap using uh, liquid glue. I can now start adhering all the flowers and leaves inside the envelope and I'm just using um, uh, glossy accents to adhere them all. For the sentiment, I'm going to use the sentiment from the stamp set, Thinking of You, and I'm going to stamp that um, with Versa Mark, Versa Fine Onyx Black Ink uh, on this banner that I die cut and colored, and I'm going to emboss this one with clear embossing powder, just like the first card, and then melt the powder with my heat tool. Before I finish the front of the card, 
I'm going to stamp the text image inside the card on the bottom right corner with one of the ink from the Cherry Blossom Altino ink set. And then I'm going to add two of the flowers and a butterfly and I'm going to uh, adhere them with the glitter glue. I will add vellum on the back of the flowers so it will mute the background. I use my oval stitch die set to die cut the vellum. And I'm going to adhere this vellum uh, on the back of the flowers. And after the vellum is adhered on the back of the flowers, I'm going to add uh, glossy accents on the back and then we can adhere this uh, envelope of flowers on our um, panel and then we can also adhere this thinking of you sentiment and what I'm going to do is I'm going to staple that one the, uh, the banner sentiment with a stapler um, and then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, liquid glue and foam tape at the end. And now we can adhere our panel on our um, A2 size card base. And um, I just use do strong double sided tape and a little bit of uh, liquid glue to adhere my panel on my card base. And then I'm going to add some clear sequins for my embellishment and I just scatter them on the card and I'm going to um, adhere them down with glitter glue. Lastly, we can't forget our Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pen to add shimmer on all of the flowers and the flowers and butterfly inside the card. And my cards are finished. I love how these cards turned out. I hope you like today's cards and let me know which one or which card is your favorite. I will leave Cheryl's links on my description box below so you can check what she created using the My Monthly Hero Arts January 2020 card kit. As always, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you like today's cards and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.